What's up, you guys, and welcome to the More Squad. What's up, More Squad? Now back with another video. I need you guys to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, cause I'll be back so much. Itch. See the mask? That's when you know your girl ain't playing. Anyways, this video is going to be about when I had my first child. Okay, let's, I don't know what happened, but let's get right into the video. Anyways, I had my first child at 18. I got pregnant at like 17 and a half. Like, we're about to go on 18. Okay, let me tell y'all about how I got pregnant. Okay, I went to this school. If you're in Detroit, Michigan... It's this school that's called CFA. It's an all-girls school. It's for pregnant moms and girls who can't go to school with different other people because they fight a lot. So that was me. I had got kicked out of this school called Dearborn High in Detroit, Michigan for fighting this girl because she called me out my name. She called me the N-word. So I had to knock her teeth out. No, I'm just playing. But, yeah, I got kicked out of that school. So... My mom put me in all girls school. I was mad because you know, I'm like, why? Well, oh, baby, that bleach strong. Baby mopping, cleaning. But, anyways, like I'm saying, my mom put me in that school. I was mad. I'm like, mom, why I gotta go to that school? Like, ain't no boys in that school. Why I gotta go to that school? It's an all girls school. You wanna act up? Nah, parents is. You wanna act up? I'm gonna put you in here. This is where you need to be. It's to keep you straight. It ain't keep me straight, mom. I got pregnant. No, but anyways, I think me seeing, it was me and my cousin, Emily, she went there. Me and her used to look at each other about, when we first got there, we like, oh, I'm they pregnant, you know, seeing the babies and stuff. I'm like, oh, look at the babies. But me and her used to look at each other like, we ain't getting pregnant, okay? We are not getting pregnant. No, no way how. Why I go home, the first day, call my boyfriend, like, we about to try for a baby. It never worked. Never. Well, my ex, not my boyfriend. It never worked. So, by me going to the school, it's like I got baby fever. I kept seeing the babies. They had nurseries, all that stuff. I kept seeing, like, the little babies. People was having twins. People was, I don't know. I just loved to see the babies, okay? The babies was just, it made me want to have a baby. And... At first, I'm like, no, I don't want to have a baby. But it made me go into that school. So I eventually got pregnant. My mom, I thought she wouldn't notice. She always monitor her, my cycle. So I'm walking around acting like I'm asking anybody out there who did this before. You know you're pregnant, but you ask for pads. I kept asking my sister them. My, every time my mama came, um, to the house, I kept saying, y'all got a pad, anything, I'm on, oh, I'm cramping, I'm cramping. She started noticing little stuff, I started sleeping a lot, I started getting cranky, irritated, didn't want to be around people, I, and out of nowhere, she was like, let's go to the doctor, and she took me to the doctor, and she like, I want to put her on birth control, I'm thinking, why you want to put me on birth control, I'm on my period, but the whole time I'm pregnant, so I get to the doctor, she tried to put me on birth control. I tell the doctor, the doctor come in with the needle. I'm like, no, I'm not taking it. Because I knew. I'm like, no, I'm not taking it. So she, my mom getting upset, angry. They made me take a test. The test had said negative at first. So by me not wanting to get the shot, my mama mad. She's storming out the doctor, doctor's office. We make it to the elevator. Or the, ex, no, the elevator. And the doctor assistant runs like try to catch us like oh oh ma'am it, it an, another line just popped up she's pregnant so we in the elevator and after they told us that she like i'm thinking she's gonna be mad she got to call in everybody oh i'm about to have a grandbaby i'm about to have a grandbaby so i wasn't scared no more because i'm like oh my god i'm about to get my ass beat i'm about to get this baby beat out of me but no that wasn't the case my mama was happy. She like, oh, yeah, I know this my grandbaby because you having it. Like, you my child. I know this my grandbaby. So, she, and then when I found out I was having a girl that really icing on the cake. My daughter now is 11 years old. Her name is Zanaya. She, my mom decorated my whole room pink. I had a new bed. 
she bought all my baby clothes. Like, my baby ain't want need for nothing when she was a baby. Nothing at all. Like, my mama bought everything. She was overprotective of my baby. Um, she loved my baby. She loved to spoil me. When I say, oh, while I was pregnant with y'all, she would wake me up out of my sleep. Like, what you want to eat? Guess what I say? Chili cheese fries. Yeah, make sure they put chili and cheese at the bottom and the top. My sister used to be like, you getting it at the bottom and the top? Throw that cheese on the bottom and the top. But when I got pregnant, I don't know. I had started having these feelings. I think it was from the grief. So anybody out there that's pregnant or first time being pregnant, any of that, watch what you eat. Because I had caught this. I don't know if it was a cramp under and it felt like it was my chest, but it wasn't. I don't, from me eating so much, I, that's all I crave while I'm pregnant. Anything I got, I get wings deluxe. Pita Deluxe. Deluxe comes with the chili and cheese fries. So the grease was messing my stomach up to the point I had to drop down to my knees and get sent to the hospital. The EMS had to come pick me up because I thought it was my chest. Thank God that feeling gone and I wouldn't wish that on nobody. But yeah, that was the story of me having my first baby girl. Now I got six kids running around my house. But it's a blessing. I don't care what nobody say about, oh, you got too many kids, do this and that. That's okay, because guess what? I might have lost all my friends when I had my first kid or when I had my kids, but baby, I don't need a friend when I have four boys and two girls. They are my best friend. I know they won't turn their back on me. I know they will forever have my back. Like, I don't be out here. Oh, I want to go party. Oh, I ain't got nobody to party with. No, I will party right here in my house with my children. They make me happy. Like, no, the reason why I came to this YouTube is I want y'all to see my family. We've been told for so long, y'all need to make a YouTube channel. Man, y'all go so far. People will love y'all because we goofy. Now I got six other little kids. If my other family don't want to do it, they'll do it with me. They always, mom, get on camera, do something. My son, oh my God, he loves YouTube. He, mom, you have to make longer videos. You can't be making shorter videos and stuff like that. But, yeah, y'all, I can't wait to take y'all on this journey with us. I even met the man of my dreams. None of my kids' fathers in my life. None of my kids' fathers in their life. Not like that. It's here and there. But I even met the man. I, also, if y'all want to know the story about a man that came in my life and accepted all six of my kids and been here for five years now, we even engaged, y'all, drop. I want y'all to put a blue heart if y'all want to hear that story. But anyways, I want you guys to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share your girl videos, and thank y'all so much. I'm almost at 500 subscribers. I'm trying to get to a thousand. So if you guys can get your girl to a thousand subscribers, I will really appreciate it. Much love. Peace. I need you guys to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell.